In this video, you will learn how to use the LucidLink panel for Premiere Pro and how to leverage its many benefits, such as integrated pinning controls, dynamic clip range caching, cache metrics, and easy settings optimization. The LucidLink panel for Premiere Pro lists all the sequences in the project and optionally all the individual media assets that are included in a selected sequence. If connected, the proxy files are also listed. Next to each asset, you will see a button that allows you to pin that file directly from within the LucidLink panel. No need to find and pin folders within the operating system. You can also use the button next to the sequence to pin everything in the sequence. When you no longer need assets to be pinned, you can just as easily unpin assets individually or for the entire sequence. As an alternative to pinning, you can choose to cache the clip ranges in a sequence. This loads into cache just the portions of the clips that are used in your sequence. This can be very helpful if you use short segments from long source clips, as it greatly reduces the amount of Lucid cache you need locally. As you manage your pins, the Lucid cache metrics provide visibility into how much cache you have used and how much is available. This can help you decide if you should increase your cache size. The Settings pane provides easy access to a few recommended Premiere Pro settings when working on projects stored in LucidLink. These can be enabled individually or all at once with a single click. The Help pane includes videos and a reference guide to assist with understanding how to use the different features present in the panel. Premiere Pro editors using the LucidLink panel can work faster and use less local cache thanks to the ability to cache and pin in a more targeted way all from within the Premiere Pro interface. Be sure to check out our other videos for Adobe Premiere Pro editors on lucidlink.com.